We're studying different characters of the Bible. Today we're studying the Apostle Paul. Now his first name was Saul and he was a Jewish leader. He was a Pharisee. And what happened is that's a great religious leader in the Jewish community. And what happened is he had this Damascus Road experience. If you check in Acts, he'll tell you all about the Damascus Road experience. And when he had this experience, he became a Christian and accepted Jesus as Lord of his life. Now, the reason I bring up Paul is this. He gave up everything when he became a Christian for Christ. He had to become a tent maker. As a Pharisee, he had lots of money. He had servants and all this stuff. But when he became a Christian, he gave up everything. He, in order to survive, he had churches helping him and he was a tent maker. But when you read his writings, especially the book of Romans, oh, and Ephesians and Galatians, all this incredible stuff. He is the guy in Romans 7 who says, the things I want to do, I don't do, yet the things I don't want to do, I do. And it's kind of like, ah! Yet when I read Romans 7, I realize that's exactly me. You know, there's many times I'm doing stuff that I shouldn't be doing or I don't want to do, and yet there's other stuff I should be doing. But then he ends in Romans 8 with this beautiful saying, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Now, the reason I bring up Paul today is this. When you study his life, I mean, it was crazy. He was there when Stephen was martyred. He probably led the martyr. So here's the point I'm saying to you. God gives you grace. God gives you mercy. God gives you love. When you start to have Jesus as Lord, maybe you should give yourself grace, mercy, and love. Paul did. See you later. I love you.